Okay then, I haven't done a stereotypes video in a really long time, which is kinda underwhelming because the word stereotypes is literally on my channel banner. So I don't know why I haven't been doing it in a while. Like usual, stereotypes don't apply to everyone, but I'm sure you already figured that out by now because I said it in literally other past video and there hasn't really been any drama about it, which there shouldn't be considering my videos aren't even really that good. Also, I'm using Soundsmith music for this video, one that was not uh, available for download on SoundCloud, and I had to use SoundCloud 2 MP3 in order to get it on my computer, so if there's ever a problem with using it in this video, I can gladly delete this video and just re-upload it without the supposed copyrighted music. I don't know if it's copyrighted or not. Alright? Alright, let's do it. Oh yeah, and also I'm not doing every single melee weapon because there is a lot of melee weapons in Arsenal. Like, there is a lot, so I'm not doing all of them. So if your favorite melee weapon and the one that you use isn't here, I'm sorry, but I guess it just wasn't that noticeable for me to put it in. Okay? Okay, let's do this. The starting knife slash dagger is mostly comboed with the delinquent skin, and although they can be new at the game, considering these are both the starting items for the game once you first boot up Arsenal, the vast majority of the people who use the skin and melee weapon at the same time have a bacon hair avatar, and for some reason they are really good at the game. I'm not sure why they're really good, they just kinda are. It might have to do with the fact that they're probably a really popular YouTuber like Tanker or Bandites, and they're just trying to get some background footage from their video on an alt account. I don't know, maybe doing a commentary? I'm not sure. Whatever they do. The stereotype for this one is quite similar to the dagger slash knife stereotype, but usually their avatar isn't a bacon hair and they aren't really trying to hide the fact that they're really good at the game. If a popular YouTuber is using this in game, they're probably doing a toxic player 1v1 private server gets destroyed video. And well, they're probably using it if they're not using the mop one, since that is a very common choice when people are doing stuff like that. If not that, they're probably a slender, thinking that they're super mature for making extremely offensive jokes. And you bet they're gonna call hacks after every round they don't win. This person's just kinda... cool. Like, I don't really know how to specify exactly what I mean by cool, but this person just kinda, you know, doesn't really care on what melee they use, and the reason they probably use this is because the melee weapon's cool. I mean, it's, it's funny, because it's your literal fists, and it's apparently just as powerful as a chainsaw or an energy blade, and, well... Yeah, this person's just kind of that cool. I don't really know what else to say. Like, they don't use an overrated melee weapon because, oh, everyone else is using it. I should use this too. Nor do they use underrated weapons because no one is using this. I'm going to use this because no one uses it and it will make me look quirky and cool. And no, they don't really think that way. So, yeah, this person's just kind of cool, I guess. Like, I don't know about real life, but chances are they're probably really cool in game. Not really that toxic and... They're just cool. Oh yeah, they're probably also using the Material Man. Probably should have said that earlier. So, I kinda had a plan for this weapon, in which I would talk about that one glitch that's been going around in, like, the past months, about how when you use this melee weapon, if you jump with it, apparently you go a lot further than other melees. Yeah, I kinda had this whole thing with, like, my script and everything, but then when I actually went to go look at what can be in a melee case, being every non-limited melee, I then later found out by looking up the bouquet melee weapon on YouTube, um, yeah, it's a Valentine's Day exclusive, meaning that I actually don't have it, and I can't really think of a stereotype for it because pretty much no one uses it anymore. But if you were to find someone to use it, chances are they'd probably just try to abuse the glitch and then keep dying. I don't know, I would have probably described it better, but I don't really have any footage to back it up, so... Yeah. At first in my script, I was going to question why people use this melee weapon in the first place, because, I mean, to be honest, it's really just the fisticuffs, but worse. I mean, it literally serves every purpose the fisticuffs does, except for the funny part, so it's really just the fisticuffs, but worse. But now, honestly, for that exact same reason, I'm really questioning why this melee weapon exists in the first place. So yeah, like I mentioned before, this melee weapon is useless. Like, completely useless. If you want to use a melee weapon to punch people, fisticuffs. You want to be funny, 
Fisticuffs. You want to make some stupid anime joke. Fisticuffs. The brass knuckles serves no purpose. So, again, why does this exist? I guess maybe the person who wants to use it wants the fisticuffs but doesn't have it, and maybe they don't want to wait for it to come back in the shop forever, so they just use the brass knuckles? Yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay, next. I honestly feel like saying that this person doesn't take the game seriously is the right choice of words, but then again, it's really not. This person doesn't take the game seriously, but more so doesn't take you seriously. The reason you'll only want to play Arsenal with this guy is because Arsenal's the only game where when they're trying to hinder you having a good time, Arsenal's really the only game where they can't really do that. If you're playing Piggy, they just camp the exit door or grab an essential item and purposely not use it. A game like Doom Aspire, they could just spawn camp you and target you. But Arsenal, if they're on the opposing team, the most they could do to you is target you, but that really doesn't work considering they probably aren't that good at the game because they never take the game seriously. And if they're on your team, the most they can do is steal your kills, which never really works. Again, because they aren't that good. So why did they choose this melee? Probably for the annoying sound. Yeah, you should really avoid this guy. Alright, that's gonna do it for the preview. If you want to see the full video that's gonna come out in the future, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to be notified when it comes out. And also be notified when other videos come out. If you haven't watched my last video, which you probably haven't because you probably don't have the time to, I'm just gonna say everything that I said in that video really quickly. I'm changing my content, sorry for not uploading, I'm gonna make my videos a lot bigger, a lot better, much higher quality, I'm gonna have scripts for them, I'm gonna have a lot more footage for them, they're gonna tackle a bunch of different topics, and they're overall going to be a lot better than the past videos I've done. Alright, that's gonna do it, I'm Poonage, and see you all in the next much bigger, better video. Alright, see ya.